you have platelets and coagulation factors in your blood right now. So how come you don't thrombose and die? What's your secret, my friend? Today, we will learn about the anti-clotting mechanisms, how your blood just keeps flowing. So, let's get started. Here are my previous videos about bleeding and coagulation, especially this one. You must watch. This was really awesome. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine just makes perfect sense. So, why don't you just thrombose and die? What are the factors that prevent thrombus formation, also known as anti-clotting mechanisms? First, the endothelium. It provides a smooth, non-thrombogenic surface so that the platelets cannot attach and go crazy. Vasodilation, it makes it harder for platelets to aggregate. The endothelium secretes endothelial-derived vasodilators such as nitric oxide. They will vasodilate and inhibit platelet aggregation. Endothelium secretes heparin-like molecules called heparin sulfate. It stimulates antithrombin-3 like father, like son, and it neutralizes the activated serine proteases such as prothrombin factors 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. The endothelium synthesizes prostaglandin I2, also known as prostacyclin, which keeps the blood cycling by vasodilation and inhibiting platelet aggregation. This endothelium expresses thrombomodulin, which modulates the thrombin from being pro-coagulation into being anti-coagulation. This is just amazing. Also, the TPA converts plasmin ogen into plasmin. Plasmin destroys the clot and the clotting factors and restores the normal function. This is called fibrinolysis. All of these mechanisms promote blood fluidity and inhibit coagulation. So we are done with the endothelium. What else prevents coagulation? Heparin. Heparin? In my body, do I have heparin without taking it? Yes, indeed. You have heparin in your body right now, all of you. No exceptions. It's a glycosaminoglycan. It's in your body. It stimulates antithrombin-3. What does antithrombin-3 do? It inhibits the serine proteases, prothrombin factors 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. So actually, heparin is not the hero. The hero, the real hero is antithrombin-3. Heparin just takes all of the credit. Heparin-like molecules, such as heparin sulfate, it does the exact same thing. Protein C and protein S. I think of these as the brakes, not the accelerator, but the brakes on coagulation. They stop coagulation. How come? They inactivate the accelerator. They inactivate the gas pedal. They inactivate factors 5 and 8. Protein C and S are vitamin K dependent. So when you have vitamin K deficiency, or when you're taking warfarin to inhibit vitamin K dependent factors, you don't have protein C and S, you don't have the breaks. Also, when you're taking warfarin, you're inhibiting the other vitamin K dependent coagulation factors such as prothrombin 7, 9, and 10. By the way, protein S is a cofactor of protein C. So it goes like this. We start with protein S. Actually, before protein S, there is the great vitamin K. Now protein S, now we have protein C. Protein C is gonna inactivate the accelerators of coagulations, which are factors five and eight. When factors five and eight are stopped and deactivated, you're not gonna have the common pathway and the fibrin meshwork, it's not gonna happen. Quick review of the arachidonic acid pathway. We start with membrane phospholipid. Thanks to phospholipase A2, we have arachidonic acid by cyclooxygenase. We have prostaglandin G2. Then we have prostaglandin H2 by thromboxane synthase. We have thromboxane in the platelets. If you happen to be the endothelium and you hate coagulation, let's form prostacyclin to keep the blood cyclin. How do you keep the blood cyclin? By vasodilation and preventing platelet aggregation. If you are the platelets, how do you promote your agenda of coagulation by secreting thromboxane A2 using thromboxane synthase. Thromboxane will cause thrombosis by vasoconstriction and increasing platelet aggregation. 
Thromboxane A2 is one of the pathogenesis factors of Prenz metal angina when your coronary vessels constrict and then you suffer. Don't miss my 60 plus notes on Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. They are not here on YouTube. They are just on Patreon. These notes are just great. Go to Patreon, guys. Subscribe to Medicosis. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. I'll see you soon.